Week 10, Season 5 of Dana White's Contender Series saw Canada's Johan Lainess dispatch the hopes and dreams of an up-and-coming undefeated prospect in Justin Berlinson. Now, despite the fact that Lainess was also coming into this fight undefeated, he was a massive underdog. He went and got the takedown early in the fight, defended all of the submission attempts of Burlinson, but it was actually a beautifully well-placed left hook in the pocket that uh, sent Burlinson to the canvas and made his UFC contract a foregone conclusion. Now, he's going to be making his UFC debut April 30th against California's gifted Gabe Green. Gabe Green coming off a really nice win over Phil Rowe at UFC 258. He's a lot of fun to watch. Nine of his 10 wins have been by way of finish. Both of these guys are complete mixed martial artists. Both of them like to get it finished. This is going to be a fantastic scrap at welterweight. Let's take a look at Johan Lanus's fight on Dana White's Contender Series. And we're underway. One thing that I would expect from Lamus, he uses a lot of wrestling I've seen as well, so... You might look to expose that. Look at that, though. Power shots straight away. And you can see that Lamus is There's the bigger wrestling. guy. But there it is. Wow, jumps guillotine for Perlinson right That's away. Right. I mean, that, I mean, I get it. God bless him. He went for the finish, and it would have been tremendous. But now he's underneath, and he's given up the takedown. And he's officially given up on that guillotine attempt. Side control, now north-south. The scrambling continues. Guard back for Burlinson. That was a very technical move oh. we just did there. And now straight into an armbar. He's aggressive off his back. He's pieced together four submission attempts already. Now he's going to take the back a little bit. He's almost there. No. Could have stepped over. He's got Nonetheless, the a great scramble to just kind of... Make it a 50-50 position for a moment. Now Lanus will go back to work on top, but Berlinson back to the fence, returns to his feet. Well, yeah, I think, we, go ahead, I was Laura. just going to say, we were singing the praises of his of Berlinson striking, but, I mean, he is nasty off of his back. Really, really difficult to get this guy to settle. And, you know, Lanus, he's walking into the lion's den here. If you watch film on Berlinson, he will throw up submission after submission after submission. He's not a guy who's going to settle on his back. No, and, and that's why he felt comfortable going for the guillotine, because he's oh. like, you know what? Yeah. If I don't get it, I've got 20 other submissions, and then I'll just get back to my feet and go back to work with my boxing. And there's that jab. Throws it from a downward angle, so you don't really see it. Look, jab there, lands. Left hook on the money. Massive shot. Threw it from last week. Look at this wheel up. Or a wolf there from behind him. So much torque. So much power. I'm here to stay! Boom! Wow. Hey, beautiful shot. Ugly technique, but it landed perfectly and it got the job done. Congratulations. What a shot. Head I mean, smacks the canvas. Good stoppage by her, uh, yeah. by the referee. <laughs> the only reaction to have is the one octagon side with uh, eyes popping out of your head. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 37 seconds into round number one, referee Herb Dean calls a stop to the fight for the winner by TKO, Johan Lehner.